computer room, Nottingham, what we've got here is an iPhone 4 with backlight problems. Trying to adjust it, actually knocks the backlight off, there we go. So what I try to do now, is get it to come back on, it where? Gave a little flash there, if we see just here, you can see the time, the 12 and the 3. Press that, it disappears, there we go. So it's uh, an intermittent backlight problem somewhere. We have seen this before. It is quite a rare um, issue. But uh, yeah, we're going to see uh, what component it is that isn't able to do its job anymore to see if it can be fixed. Alright, I'm just going through a di diagnostic test with uh, this iPhone. I've got a test screen on, as you can see. Just clipped in place. The reason why I'm doing that is just to see whether it's the screen or not. I hope you heard that uh, lock sound there. Uh, but uh, yeah, the phone is on, but we've still got nothing on the screen, so it doesn't look like it's the screen that's fitted in the phone. It looks more uh, as though it's going to be main board problems. I right, hope you hear that lock sound again. Just switching it off, but uh, yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, switch it off, we'll get the main board out, and start looking for the main board out. And uh, the first thing we've noticed. Uh, two components near the LCD connector uh, have the job to do when it comes to the backlight working. One of them is uh, sort of on the left hand side which is about here. One of them on the right which is a little bit further over. That one looks to be sort of liquid or water damaged. Uh, so we're going to investigate that more to see whether it is that that's uh, intermittently working um, and not able to do its job anymore. Uh, we sort of can't really see much more show much more should I say than what we've got here uh, really because of how small the components are uh, but yeah I'm going to do some testing with this see if it's the component itself burnt out solder pads anything like that and uh, then yeah once we've checked that we'll move on right then what I've got done I've cleared up I should I say cleaned uh, the area where the component used to be and uh, so sort of the silvery area here is one of the solder pads that it was soldered to. Next to it there isn't a solder pad anymore. That's burnt out and damaged unfortunately. So uh, that's left very, very little material to solder a new component onto. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do though to try to get the component in and uh, get continuity going again to see if uh, that can be opened up to get the backlight working again. Alright, here we are, we're getting the phone back together. Now uh, the reason is because we've got the soldering complete that we wanted to, to be able to uh, hopefully get the backlight working again. Uh, there's a very, very small amount of soldering uh, sort of area that we've been able to get to. Can't really show it very clearly on this unfortunately because of how small everything is. But uh, yeah, it's all done, so it's ready to go. We're just going to reassemble the iPhone now, and hopefully we'll see the backlight working soon. All right, then here we are. Uh, we've just switched the iPhone back on. As you can see, we've got the uh, the backlight on there. Just going to go into brightness, and uh, it's in about centre, so it's near sort of a limit that it's been uh, at before when it comes to it stopping working. What I'm going to do is turn it down. That's all the way down. Turn it back up. It all seems okay. Really, really bright. It's the maximum brightness as you can see there. Now turning it sort of up and down, and really giving it uh, a bit of a test compared to how it was. All seems absolutely fine. It can go from the lowest to the highest brightness, no interruptions whatsoever. So uh, what we're going to do with this is just leave it uh, as it is now. I'm going to get some YouTube movies playing on it, something like that just to test the uh, backlight to make sure that it's going to keep working okay and uh, hopefully if it does uh, keep working then that's this repair done